I'm Lerner, and here we are with another edition of the Portfolio Review. Uh, this is a chance for me to look at your website portfolio and get a look at all of your photos, how you've laid out your website, how cohesive your work looks, what you're trying to achieve with it, and just give you some of my thoughts on how everything looks. Now, understand that this is just my opinion. I am not an art buyer. I am not an editor. And I am also a photographer who also needs feedback. I need feedback on my website. I need people uh, that I trust to look at my work and my website and give me feedback as well. So whatever I say, please take it with a grain. Um, I'm only here to hopefully provide some encouragement and some um, some positive feedback. And if I do say something that is that sounds negative, um, it's not personal. It's really just me looking at, at a website from somebody that I don't know and trying to get a sense of their work and how they're presenting it. So we have a website from a photographer, Nana Dees. Now, if I am mispronouncing your name, please forgive me. Um, and let's just get a quick sense of um, Nana and where Nana is from. Okay, so Nana, I'm going to say, is a woman. A lovely photo of her right here. Uh, born in Copenhagen, Copenhagen lives in Reykjavik, uh, Reykjavik, somewhere where I always would love to go. One thing that's really nice about this about page, and I think an about page is really important, is that not only does she have a photo of herself that she really likes, it's an interesting photo, and she's even credited the photographer that's taken it with an actual link to that photographer's work, which we'll just hop on really quickly. Let's just take a quick peek. Um, there you go. Okay. That's uh, interesting. All right, um, let's go back to Nana's website here because this really is about her. Um, she's talked about different publications. She's linked to all of them. She's talked about different commissions that she's done, some awards, even listed some education. Um, so, you know, this is a really nice comprehensive about page, okay? But let's actually go to where everything started. Let's go back to her home page. Okay, home page, real nice, real clean. I love the layout. I love the simplicity of just you know a handful of links at the top. I like this initial image here. Um, one thing that that I feel is that when you've got so much real estate, okay, and I've got you know a 24 inch Apple Cinema display. It's not like the biggest display. It's not the smallest display. It kind of seems like a pretty normal size for a lot of people. Why not take advantage of this? Why not have your website either you know display bigger images or even have the ability to hit full screen to really fill up the screen with this image because the image is very compelling i like i like what's going on with this image it definitely draws me in i like people photography and portraits and fashion stuff and this makes me want to look at more so let's look at the first link here editorial now i'm going to sense that if editorial is the first link um, after the home link, then that's probably what Nana is trying to promote more so than everything else because we've got editorial portraits, commercial, lifestyle, and you can obviously see that these are not in alphabetical order. So these are potentially in the order, in my opinion, as to what she wants to promote most. Okay, so let's start with this Dia magazine um, at the Reykjavik Art Museum. I like the captioning here. And let's just take a look here. Okay, so it's a fashion shoot. It was published. She um, links to her stylist and to the model. And then there's a nice photo story here. Um, just looking at this offhand, I think that it's really, really shot well. Um, I like the editing that's going on here. Um, I think that, that the use of these geometric shapes with um, the model is really terrific because, you know, models and people, women, you know, have nice, you know, kind of soft curves and shapes and to have geometric shapes in, com in conjunction with that is a really nice way to offset a human form. Um, here, you know, we've got the trees. It's another thing that's really cool. Maybe this was lit with a reflector. I'm going to guess just because the way her face is lit and the rest of her maybe isn't. Um, but that's a nice use of natural light. There's some kind of a sculpture back here. I would have liked to seen this one with the background a little bit more blown out. Uh, maybe this information in the back here kind of like less prominent, but still it's a cool shot. These are real nice and simple just on a, um, on a white wall. Um, again, we're using the, the, the light and shapes and different things. This one, not, not as 
crazy compelling for me. But you know, I think in a situation like this, you really got to look at this and look at it as an entire photo story. Um, and you know, that was that's it's kind of cool. It works. Um, so now let's go to an older entry. This one's called Iris. So here we've got some really punchy color. Um, looks like she's taking advantage of the model's eyes and hair color. Um, really nice uh, look about this and it seems a little bit repetitive you know we've kind of got three kind of very similar almost identical images um, and you know the way I feel about this is that sure this might be an editorial it might be a photo story but at the same time you know in a situation like this I think for me I would pick maybe one or two of these to promote um, I understand that she's promoting this as a photo story and that makes sense um, this image it really doesn't work for me at all because we've missed focus or maybe the focus is here I really want to see the focus on the eyes here and uh, that doesn't that doesn't necessarily work so great for me um, so you know overall I like it I mean this one is probably one of my favorites because of kind of the look on the model's face and all that kind of stuff but again there's a little bit of cleanup that could be done here you know like even though that this was potentially shot with natural light and all that kind of stuff it doesn't mean that you can't go in there and just do a little bit of retouching maybe get rid of this kind of distracting bit over there um, you know it, it's just a matter of taking your photography to another level um, but I do overall like the theme of this I like the way that she's tied in the blue background with the models blue eyes um, and again without knowing a lot more about um, you know what the, is, okay so this is a singer and a composer so I don't know this this has more of a fashion kind of a look than a singer composer to me um, it doesn't really have a tie into music but um, you know the the portraits are certainly nice some of them that is let's continue to go onward okay Rosa Brindis um, SS13 um, campaign so that would be SS13 that would be t um, summer or spring um, 2013 and some kind of a fashion campaign all right so this has kind of an interesting look um, and you know it's a hard call you know what's going on here it seems like the model I think in this case the model could have been given maybe a little bit more direction because the model just has kind of one expression on her face um, you know we've got the chin up you know very stiff jaw over here um, I don't know what we're trying to convey here I mean right here this is a little bit of a softer look and this is probably one of my favorite images um, although I'm not crazy about the head being cut off the hand being cut off this kind of grating that's over here there's just it's just the whole thing is just a little bit skewed I want to see a little bit more same thing we got going on over here you know we got like tons of depth of field with a bunch of stuff back here that interestingly if the model was against this peach wall and then we had these architectural shapes maybe sh shaping the rest of the frame that might be in my opinion maybe a little bit more interesting here we've done a good job of isolating the two but you know her connection to the cameras there it's just that this expression is just a little bit I don't know it just there's something a little bit bizarre to me and you know cutting off the arms you know maybe if she had you know had her arms folded or one arm you know maybe leaning let's say on the door on the wall again we've got that depth of field where we've got so much depth of field that we're, we're we've, we've got this stuff going on here which I just don't feel is relevant to the image um, I like this one you know in the way that you know we've got this curved doorway and we've got this you know curved uh, model the curve of her as well um, so that's kind of cool and um, you know I think that these work I just feel like that they, they could have been pushed to a whole new level um, they just they just feel a little bit flat to me okay these were taken around Iceland for the Finnish magazine Telma um, all right so we've got some kind of a pipeline landscape you know these are these are really pretty landscapes um, you know there's nothing that's like I guess blowing my mind but what I do like is that she's included the tear sheets in here um, obviously I'm not gonna read any of this stuff because it looks like it's in Icelandic which I wouldn't know the first thing about reading um, but I think that tying these in is really cool to the um, to the article and in some ways um, you know I think that this is a really nice presentation you know being able to actually tie your work in as well again in the editing here you know I feel like 
the editing could be pushed to a, another level. You know, I feel like there's like real, you know, an imbalance of lights and darks. And, you know, we could definitely punch up the sky a little bit in here. And I think that, you know, editing is, is a really tough thing. Um, I, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with these images. I just feel like that, that they could be punched up a little bit further. But I think that they're nice, they're clean, they're consistent, and they work together. Okay, so I think we've gotten out of editorial. Let's head into portraits. All right, so here we do. We have a lovely portrait of um, the head of communication and media for UNICEF. Um, yeah, it's a nice portrait. Um, I like it's a roof portrait. I like that the background's blown out. Um, you know, we've got good eye contact, nice light, nice editing. Um, you know, that works. Um, you know, it's kind of like a portrait slash headshot. Um, here we've got a program director. You know, it's it's a fine portrait, and I don't mind that she's not making eye contact with the camera. It's still a strong portrait. I love the way her her um, fur collar kind of mimics her hair, or not mimics, but kind of goes with her hair color. You know, it's 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 very cool. Um, here we've got a spa owner and dreamer. Well, that's kind of nice, um, and I th guess that works because you know if he's a spa owner and a dreamer. You know, we've got them in a field with these wispy kind of grasses kind of blowing in the background and, you know, nice eye con contact, nice expression. Um, again, I, I still think, you know, as far as black and whites go, it could be punched up a little bit, but that's my preference. We've also got like just an entire third of the frame devoted to the top of, you know, to the sky here. Um, it just seems like maybe we could just frame this a little bit different. We've got them dead center with a third of the frame. It's a little bit too kind of, I don't know. Maybe we could have just pushed into one side, whatever. But it's it's still nicely done. Okay, let's go into commercial. All right, so we've got a few different things, and and one of the things I should comment too is that that Nana's site here is kind of done in a blog format, but it, it works fairly seamlessly, and I think it's really nice the way that works. So let's go into here. These are product pictures. Okay, um, yeah, these are fine. I mean, they're just natural light product pictures, as far as I can tell. Um, it's nothing that's blowing my mind at all, you know, and I don't mean that to be, you know, negative or anything. Um, I just feel like it's it's fine, you know. There's nothing spectacularly amazing about it, but as far as it, you know, product pictures, they're nice, consistent. The colors are nice, um, and uh, you know, they kind of work. The only thing I'll say is that, you know, look at the way that the lights on this one and on this one. We've got two different kind of tonalities going on here we've got a much whiter and then a darker and same kind of here I wouldn't mind seeing these kind of all in about the same exposure I'm also not a fan of this kind of angular um, Dutch angle and no offense if, um, if there's any Dutch out there um, because obviously it's not a commentary against the Dutch it's a commentary against the roofs the roofing of Dutch homes that are on such a crazy angle and a lot of photographers like to tilt the camera thinking that that creates more interest but in my opinion if you need to tilt the camera to create more interest then you're not making an interesting photo and again it's my opinion and that's all that really uh, matters right here so these are nice but you know they're not blowing me away uh, let's continue moving on here. This is for a restaurant. All right, so we're conveying um, the outdoor scene here. Not crazy about the timing on this one. You know, the server is serving a cup of tea to this couple, but or this 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 pair of people here. But but the timing is right when she's blocking this person's face, and this person's hand is just kind of randomly up. Um, what would have been more interesting is if you had removed these two chairs and maybe just readjusted the timing and even just asked them, hey, could, could we just shoot that again? But um, maybe this was just done as a candid. Um, I like the sun um, that's like sweeping in over here. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and let's see. So we've got just a nice food shot. And yeah, the food shot's okay. I'm not crazy about seeing these planters. I would have liked to maybe have seen, like, maybe if, if you had just taken the time, removed these two pots over here, maybe, you know, figured out a way to get rid of this little part of the window and or framed it, you know, a little bit differently. Um, there's some distractions in here. I think food photography is hot, hot, hot right now. And I don't think it takes a lot of effort to do a little bit of food styling, okay? My guess is that you've got some window light coming in over here. That's why this is all blown out. Uh, maybe use a reflector or some type. 
Um, cause you know, I'm seeing some, some reflecting going on into here, but I think that there's a lot of different ways, either shooting this overhead or shooting it so that that black background really goes black and you don't have these cans would have been more, more interesting. This, uh, image I really don't find to be interesting or compelling at all. Um, these look nice. I just wish that you hadn't cut off the bottom of this, this, uh, cup over here. And I also wish that you hadn't had this white area here. So if, if this weren't cut off and this all went to black, I think that would have been really quite a bit more compelling. Um, so it's just a matter of really paying attention to your framing. When you're looking through the camera, you really have to look at all the different corners. You gotta see, okay, I've got this much headroom, but I've got, I'm cutting off the base of this thing over here. I've got all this dark negative space, but I've got this little bit of light space. So what if I just readjust things or move this tray over a little bit, shift my camera just the hair slides bit down, just try it. And sometimes it's just a matter of when you have an image like this, even though this works, shoot it a couple of different ways. Okay. So again, that's how I feel about that. Um, interior here. I'm going to say good, not great. Um, the angle seems a little bit weird. It's kind of like dipping off to the right. I'm not really getting enough of this. I would have liked to have seen this shot with a wide angle. It's very possible that the photographer didn't have a wide angle lens. Um, and that's why, you know, but um, I'm not quite getting enough of a, of a scene from this to really comprehend that this is a restaurant interior. Um, okay, so we've got somebody eating uh, some yogurt and having a coffee and maybe an iPad. Um, again, the cropping's a little bit tight on this, you know. Um, we've got a pretty girl, you know, just maybe if this was pulled back a little bit and a little bit more overhead so we could see the food and the iPad just to get a sense, okay, this is a cafe where you can go in there and get some quick eats and a coffee and do a little bit of work on your computer. I think this image works. I just think it could work a little bit better. And here's a, another uh, food image. And again, it's one of those deals where it's like we've got light and we've got dark and, you know, we really can take advantage of this window light, but we don't need to actually see the window. If this image was kind of turned a little bit more like this and shot a little bit more down so that we didn't see that window and just saw the nice, beautiful earth tones of this wood and the takeout box um, with all the vibrant colors in there with a little bit sharper focus, I think that would have been, been uh, you know, slightly more interesting. So let's keep moving on. Okay, uh, this is about a guest house, and um, we got some exteriors, some interiors. Okay, my feeling on this is that I'm going to guess that these were not shot on a tripod. Because um, we've got all kinds of different kind of lines. We've got light and dark. We've got a bunch of grain. Um, this is the situation here where if you're going to shoot architectural stuff, I mean, look at this line over here. How it's like dipping to the right. You really need to shoot on a tripod. You need to have, you know, the kind of exposure where everything is like evenly lit, where your lines are even. Um, and in situations like this, I think that you really have to spend a little bit more time than just grabbing your camera and going click, 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 click. Now, there's nothing wrong with these images, okay? And, you know, I'm, I'm being a little bit tough on this website because there is a level of professionalism on this website that I definitely see, but I also see that there's a lot more potential that can be derived out of this. And I just feel that, that if a little bit more time were taken, you know, when it comes to composition and framing, that these images would go from, from good to even better. Um, so that's really all I'm going to say about this is that next time, you know, take the time and get a tripod and get your lines perfectly level and straight. Um, if you're shooting an interior that's not very well lit like this one, do a longer exposure. Um, you want to shoot at maybe, um, you don't want wide open apertures as much because you want to get all the details that are in there. I'm not going to give you all the, the, the tricks of the trade, but I'm just going to say I think a little bit more time could be spent on the interiors especially. All right, and the, ex the exterior is okay. It just doesn't doesn't really tell me that much, but it's fine. It's 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 it works. All right, so that's going to be that for that. Now let us go to lifestyle. All right, so lifestyle. Um, we got a bunch of folks that are just kind of joking around. Unfortunately, this doesn't do anything for me. I don't know who it is, what it is. I'm going to guess it's like in, you know, a ship or, you know, the cabin of a ship, something like that. But there's, it's really hard to tell what's going on. It doesn't work for me at all. Um, this one here, this to me is more like, this is a portrait. Oh, you know what? These are links. So let's just go on to this thing. Okay, here we go. Moments. 
Uh, excuse me. This is a uh, walking tour. Um, all right. So let's just get a look at that. Okay. Now I got a more of a sense of that. But yeah, this it's not doing a lot for me, this whole thing. It's not really telling me that much. I'm sorry. Um, artist and sweat owner. Uh, maybe a sweat lodge. Uh, it's kind of a candid... Again, it's... I want to see something more impactful, something that really ties this guy more into what he's doing here. Um, okay, not really sure what's going on here. Just, again, seems like a candid, like she's got her finger pointed out, like she's talking to somebody with a menu. Um, kitchen talk, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't really see these this series working too well, in my opinion. Um, let's go on to an older entry. And these are creative people. Um, okay, these guys are like maybe uh, they're tailors or designers. I think we need another set of images from this here. You know, we've we've got this guy looking over there, this guy looking kind of over here, this guy's making eye contact with the camera. You can see that there's some tools. It doesn't take a lot to just organize a little bit of this stuff to make it look more cohesive. And you can set this up and make it what's called a candid portrait. Um, you know, again, it looks like a low, low, lower light, higher ISO shot, um, which is fine. We, you know, you're just using the window light, which works. Um, I just feel like that, that we could do more with this here. All right. This one, um, it just, it, it's just killing me, man. This, this angle here, you know, with the bench sliding off to the left, um, you know, it's just, it's just kind of a flat image. Um, she's a festival chairman. Um, I just don't see festival chairman from that. Okay, fashion designer. This I could see working. Um, you know, we've got kind of like this interesting artwork over here. <coughs> you know, he's kind of got a, a groovy look. Um, there's another portion of the house, or maybe that's a mirror. Um, it, it's it's good. It, it it's it kind of works, but I'd like to see him tied more into the fashion aspect of things. Production designer. Okay, this kind of works, you know, this is an interesting shot. I just wish if you'd shifted the camera a little bit more this way so that we didn't have to see the rubbish bins and this kind of negative space over here because the house is kind of cool. The stairs are really cool. Um, fashion designer. Okay, so look, she's a really, you know, lovely girl. Um, you've got her at her work table. You've got some, some stuff back there. Um... It just seems like you caught her off guard. Like, I'd love to, again, see a few more images here where she's really kind of more engaged with the camera. And I also think you could maybe just pull back a little bit more, maybe put some of the utensils and stuff that she actually utilizes. Like, here's the top of a scissors. Why not just have them there? Here's a part of a pen. Um, let's keep going here. Graphic designer. Yeah, again, he's clearly looking away from the camera. Um, fashion graphic designer I don't see anything that ties him into that um, and we've got a fashion designer you know what it is these are nice portraits of people um, too bad you cut off her hand over here and again your lines are a little bit funky you know everything's kind of moving up to the right um, I just think that if you're going to be doing these types of portraits that it's not there's nothing wrong with working with these people and getting them to kind of play their role a little bit more with you um, well, here, here's that one case where you actually did it, where you actually had um, somebody, you know, doing something like that. Okay, now, what would have, I think, made this a little bit more interesting to me is if, number one, she wasn't holding the sign because it's a little heavy-handed. Like, I would have liked to have seen you maybe post the one without her holding the sign as your web shot, but still having her pulling the, um, the, uh, the hair dryer. And again, having the background be blown out a little bit more. So it's really just her and the hairdryer kind of being pulled through the street. Um, let's see. So here's a singer. So it to me, this is like the horse is the singer. <laughs> um, it's really hard to tell from this that, that, that this is the singer because we are not seeing her face. Um, and we're just seeing somebody holding the bridle of a horse, a beautiful horse at that. Um, but again, I'd like to see more portraits and I'd like to see somehow where you're tying somebody in um, to what they do. So I think the lifestyle, I think it, you're, you're on to a good start. I just think you'd, you really could push this a lot further. All right, let's go into the blog. 
and the blog a little slow to load but um, let's see um, blah 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 okay you know nice thing where you're talking about different stuff um, yeah you know it's kind of cool I think blogs like these are great because you can really do entire photo stories where you might not necessarily utilize any or each individual image in your um, actual portfolio and this kind of just gives you a chance to talk about you know what you're up to and different lifestyle things and you know really kind of have a visual diary of stuff that that you're really interested in a part of so I think the blog um, really works well and I love that you've got it completely full of photographs that's really very cool all right so let's continue to move on here um, again we went to the about page which I think is really terrific um, there's a lot of really great info in there you've got your Facebook um, for people to follow you on um, I don't know what a visco grid is um, but I guess that's something about you said with iPhone pictures uh, I don't know why you wouldn't want to join Instagram but maybe think about that and then we'll go to your contact page all right so we've got your email phone numbers LinkedIn Facebook um, and um, some other stuff here so I'm gonna say Nana thank you so much for sharing your website I think that you've got some really really strong work I think that you've got um, a lot of a really nice solid body of work and I think that there's tremendous potential here that if you just were to maybe take some of the things I said and just put a little bit more time into some of the stuff that you're doing I don't even mean time but just to think about it a little more shoot things that, you know a couple of different ways um, but I think you're you're on to some really good stuff I would say that um, the editorial stuff I feel you know is pretty strong I think your your portraits are nice um, as far as the commercial stuff I'm not really getting the same kind of vibe out of this kind of thing I really just think that there's a lot of inconsistencies with your composition and your lighting uh, and I think that the lifestyle stuff I think you know some really interesting people you know some creative people you know and I think that you could really explore this a lot further so uh, that's it for now if you would like to submit your portfolio for review please send an email to adamlearnerphoto at gmail.com if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and we'll see you soon thanks for watching my video if you want to subscribe to my youtube channel just click the subscribe button that's located just beneath the video right here once you've done that click on manage subscriptions and then check off whether you want to be emailed when i upload a new video or if you want those videos to show up in your newsfeed.